Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the fire pump systems. And the fire pump system consists of three pumps, three major pumps: the jockey pump, the electric pump, and the diesel pump selector. And today I'm going to start with the jockey pump. So the jockey pump. This jockey pump has a pressure of cutting of 290 and 300 psi and this is a 1000 gpm fire pump and with a pressure of 283 psi like the pressure so to see the cut in of the pressure is 290 and the cut out is 300 that is the settings that we've set but now the pressure there in the system is 329 it's good so we move on to the diesel pump diesel controller this is the diesel controller and this controller now we made the settings to 265 so in case i need to magnet magnify it the 295 and the system can be shut down manually because i've made the settings manual settings like that so you can just bring it a little close so you could see it's manual sh shutdown so it means to say when the pump runs unless you switch it off it will just be running a lot of continuously like that okay so this as per the system is gonna be using 12 volts battery as a backup battery this is the standby pump the standby because whenever there is loss of power it's going to be running on the it has a standby battery of 12 volts that is going to be used like that and this is Stonatec um, the controller that we use is Stonatec and the diesel engine is Clark now looking up here are the interfaces that is being interfaced to the fire alarm and this I can just show you because this is easily openable we can just open this to just show you what is happening in the panel and these are the engine run it consists of the engine run the signals the pump not in auto so we can just find everything here on this that are the contacts yes it's here so we have pump room trouble we have engine trouble we have hand and auto mode off hand mode engine run and controller trouble like that so with this system you can just interface it either by using the bms cabling or by using fire alarm to just control the system it's okay all the system comprises of a sensing line which is connected between the check valve and the check valve and the main valve like that on the discharge line so what it does is that is what sends the pressure in the system so with this in case i would want to run i need to just drain some of the water to the drain and if i drain as the pressure drops to 265 the pump is going to run automatically like that. Pause. now this is the electric pump controller and this is the main duty pump and it's being set to a pressure of 275 psi and the stop it's also manual stop so it's going to be running until you just put it to a stop this is the start mode you on manually and this is the stop mode and this is the test in case you want to test it you can just test it by pressing this one and it's going to and with this it's a USB in case you need to make any programming or new program that you want to put on you can just access by using this one only if you are authorized okay I'm gonna explain this into details in our next video as to how to just make settings of the pumps but for now I'm just giving you the overview of it come on let's go Fire tank, 
or you make a small video. This pump room consists of two compartments and this is the fire tank one and the second one, the first one is this side. This is the fire tank two, like that. Okay. And this is the suction line. This is where the water is being taken from. This is the suction header. As it has been said, this is the suction header of which the jackie suction is here, the electric suction OSY valve is here, and the diesel one is also there, like that. Okay. And there is that big tank. The tank is 500 gallons. 500 gallons of diesel for the diesel engine. Now, this is the jockey pump. The jockey pump is the booster pump as people call it. And this is the suction. The water is being received from the main suction header. It comes through this one to just here. Then this pump here is the one that is going to pump it. Through this line up onto this. This is the check valve that holds the system. That holds the water system, um, the water in the system like that. And this is the pressure. The pressure is holding. And it's at 320 like that. Okay. And this is the OS and Y valve. As I told you, this is the sensor line. The sensor line is always positioned between the check valve and the main OS and Y valve onto the main discharge header. Okay yeah and that is the test line in case of any testing we have the throttle valve and the main valve that we use to just regulate to just check the pressure no to just check the flow the gallons per minute of the fire pump in case we want to do any testing and this is our fire electric fire pump this is electric fire pump 1000 GPM fire pump with its air release with its air release in case there is air in the system and this is the circulation valve that is positioned there and we to regulate the pressure mainly in the split case it always has to have um, what we call some call it kunkel valve but for me, I'm gonna call it casing relief valve. The casing relief valve regulates, you can just regulate it to regulate the pressure in the casing. And it's very important. And looking at this, whenever there is um, as per the designs, the um, suction is mainly with a eccentric and uh, discharge mostly with concentric like that um, and I'm going to speak more about that in the next video and this is the check valve for the fire pump and between the check valve and the OS and Y valve is where I told you it's the sensing line so that is the sensing line that is going to be sent to the electrical controller over there so as to just know the kind of pressure that is inside the system so in every system we have something we call for, for the fire pumps for the electric and the diesel we have we have suction gauge and also we have a discharge gauge most of the times discharge gauge is up there and it's very important to have a suction gauge which is a calibrated gauge so as to know the suction pressure it's very important the diesel also has the same thing now this is the main system now when you look at it clearly we have here the main discharge line which is coming from the top side it comes from the top side through an OS and Y valve which can be used to isolate the system 
and the second line is going to the landing valve as it has been inscripted on so there's landing valve that is outside of the landing valves that are being positioned inside the systems okay and mainly it's being found on the staircases or most of the times we just put the landing valves wherever that we put the most part where we put the fire hose rails like that and this is the sprinkler line for the high zone and sprinkler line for the low zone and sprinkler pipe for another low zone these are the inscriptions that are being written on with its pressure regulation regulatory valves like that with its prvs and the main for the high zone is the one that is having the alarm check valve and the alarm check valve here yeah, this is it with the alarm check valve and the retarding chamber position that goes on to the mechanical bell outside that whenever it rings it gives an indication that there has been a pump run and it's very important to have that so whenever you hear of it then you know that there has been a pump run in the pump room okay so that's it and let's not forget this pump is being controlled by an electric it's being controlled by an electric motor which is being connected to the electric fire pump controller and it's being supplied with a power supply on top that red box that is there it's a power supply but it has been covered nicely so as not to be seen and on top of it is the monitor models the models that monitors the system in case there is any pump run there is any trouble in the system yes the models are going to be because there is nobody here standing by inside the pump room so that is what is standing by to just show or just to tell or to tell that there is something that is happening in the pump room and the line here i will just talk about it in no time now we move on to the diesel fire pump diesel fire pump is also known as the standby pump with its suction gauge nicely installed here okay with its system also here with the discharge pressure gauge also there and this is the check valve and i told you of the sensing line between the check valve and the os and y valve and there is another pipeline that has been connected here and some people would just be curious asking what is the use of it and voila there is something also that has been installed there it's called the prp the pressure relief valve it's not the pressure regulating valve this is the pressure relief valve the work of it is because the diesel has an increasing it can be increased it can be um, adjusted mainly they've installed this relief valve so as whenever there is a higher pressure the set pressure of the relief will just relieve some of the pressure so as for us not to have too much pressure in the system so it's always installed before the check valve so as to relieve the pressure before it will just be stored because any water that enters through this check valve cannot come back so in case it's being pressurized without being re relieved then it means we're going to have too much pressure of which it can break the sprinklers or it can just cause damage in the system so it was being thought of and it was being positioned there yeah and this is the fire pump that we're using we're, going to, we're using the AC fire pump system with a, an RPM of 23550 like that yeah. Let's talk a little about the fire diesel engine. The diesel engine that we're going to talk about is the Clark diesel engine. And 
this is what we call the standby pump because it has it is the third stage of the fire pumps after the jockey and the electric and this is being controlled with a standby batteries of 12 volts and 12 volts it's two the 12 volts and 12 volts because we have starter one and starter two that is what is being used for like that and um, the engine consists of when you look clearly this is the tachometer of which when the pump runs it just shows the rpm of the fire pump and look here clearly is what we call the selector switch this selector switch whenever you want to run manually you just select it up then this light here is going to be lit on and this solenoid here is going to be open so anytime you turn on that switch it's supposed to activate this solenoid here on the circulation valve this is what we call the circulation valve if you don't know what the circulation valve is the circulation valve what it does also i'm going to explain to you so let's come here and we have here the oil gauge that shows you the gauge of oil whenever it's running and this is the battery one gauge this is battery two gauge and this is the water temperature so in case the water temperature is very high it's going to be shown and when it's very low it's also going to be shown here this is the over speed shutdown whenever you see this light it means the system is running on over speed and this is the over speed reset this is the manual crank one when you put in manual run you can just select manual crank one and manual crank two to just run the system and this is the over speed verifier in case you would want to verify over speed you just put in auto mode you as it's running you just push this lever up then the light here will just be shown and the system will shut down with this light and after you want to reset it you're just going to use this one to just reset it by just positioning it up like that and talking of this one this is the oil the fuel return we have the inlet also as well that is coming from this side down there yeah to the system we have an inlet and we have an outlet and this is here this is the supply the supply has a pump so in case whenever you feel um, you put your diesel in like that this is the pump to just pump it in case there is air in the system you can manually pump it like that so as for you to just this is the oil filter for Clark and this is the fuel filter like that to just filter the system this is the regulatory valve and mainly the function of this is to just the water will just be circulating in the system to just cool down the system like that mainly this is supposed to be normally closed but it's shown here normally supposed to be normally closed so this is also normally closed okay it's normally closed now and this is normally open this is also normally open and this is normally closed so the system how it works there whenever pump is running there is water that is going to be passed on through this line to come on to here and because it is running it will just open the solenoid that is here so as for water to just pass through the water passing here will just go directly through this heat exchanger into the system to the jacket okay into the system on then it will just be circulating circulating through the system yeah and this is the contact test that in case you would want to run it manually you can run by using this one also as well to we just run it so there are various ways to run the desert pump in case of any emergency and this is the where air is being sucked into the system to for the system to just work because in compression we need air and fuel mixture like that whenever you know of IC engines yes whenever we talk of IC engines yeah you would just think of also these things this is the internal combustion engines like that yes 
so everything is being done so the suction of the air is being done here through this manifold down into the system and the magic is going to be done there of which i'm going to explain in our next video and this is the outlet muffler and goes to the exhaust engine exhaust which is being cladded very nicely down outside it's very good it's being done perfectly and it's very nice and this is the coolant the coolant section that is where the coolant is being put to just also cool the system to cool the system the radiators like that it cools it very nicely with its connections and everything and the yellow pot here somebody is going to ask what is it for this is where the oil the engine oil is being put okay in case you would want to change oil of which i will show in other video how to change service the system i'm going to show you also how to just do that so and this is the gauge for you to just check the quantity of oil inside the engine and if it's dirty you will just see it physically unless you just remove then you check then that is where you're going to see like that and here is where the coupling is to the split to the horizontal split case this is the coupling and in our next video i will just try to open one of it to just show you and this magical thing here is what we call the stopper solenoid it's very important in case even in an emergency where the pump is not even stopping i think you can just come here to just pull and this is the speed adjustment you can adjust the speed here also that is why because we have a manual speed adjustment that is why mainly also we just put the relief valve so in case it adjusts itself then there will just be a way to just control the system even if there is nobody here so the fire pump system is very 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 important and the usage and how it works it's also very easy whenever you know of it you can leave a comment you can just share your ideas and whatever that you your question and everything is you can just post it um, you are welcomed and i'm going to just help you out in every pump room we're supposed to have um, spare parts and mainly the spare parts that we're supposed to have is the uh, sprinkler heads and here it has been labeled nicely with horizontal sideways sprinklers and i'm going to open it this is it how it looks like and i'll find time to explain more of the horizontal side side wall this is the upright sprinkler the upright sprinkler it looks like this it's very simple in its design and this is the concealed pendant concealed pendant part this is the concealed pendant so it's supposed you always have to have space so as in case of any emergency there is any break you can just install it nicely it's a requirement that is supposed to be done and it's very nice to do this is the test line with two valves to just regulate whenever you are testing a thousand gpm pump this is the tank vent the vent it's also positioned outside and the supply and this is the return of diesel from the diesel and that is the supply the supply always the supply always has to be monitored so when you look at this critically the handle of the valve has been removed so as not to in case somebody closes this, it will be a disaster. So mainly, it's supposed to be changed. It's supposed to be protected. Yeah. I'll try to explain this very small scenario. This here, there is something here we call the Porter O S and Y S U one. Whenever we talk of this, this is what we call the temper switch. The temper switch. It is there to just protect and it's being it's being connected to the fire alarm this is the monitor modules so this here is being monitored so anytime somebody tempers with it when somebody tries to close it it's going to give a signal in the fire alarm panel 
that there is somebody who has tempered with this so you can just come and check because if this pump is being closed the suction is being closed it cannot work and most of the valves OS and Y valves here are all being supervised and it's very important to supervise all your valves it's very very important the diesel the diesel also has we have an exhaust fan here exhaust fan and it's very important whenever to have that kind of thing because whenever the engine runs you need to have an interface the interface to just run the pumps to run the fan so as to just bring nice circulation inside here so that is the overview of the pump room and it's very good work done and this year is a drain point yeah and we have some circulation valves also but this one is for draining the water inside the tank like that in case we need to clean inside the tank it's very easy and this is a staircase that you can just use to access it's to just check it's very important this is the second one